Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very great. This video is an explanation of guide number two that teacher Philip and I sent you yesterday. So to start, you have to answer this question. Is this yours? No, it is hers. Now, what do you think about those words in yellow? ¿Qué piensan ustedes de las palabras en amarillo? ¿Qué significa? Now, we're going to continue with possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives, we use them to show who or what owns something. ¿Quién o qué es el dueño de algo? We use them to avoid repeating certain words. For example, is that John's car? No, it is mine. We want to avoid saying, no, it's my car. Queremos evitar el repetir la palabra car. So we change it to mine. And possessive adjectives are used to show that something belongs to somebody. For example, that's our house and my car is very old. Entonces, es nuestra casa y mi auto es muy antiguo. Estamos hablando de posesión. For relations and friends, my mother is a doctor and how old is your sister? And also for parts of the body. He's broken his arm and she's washing her hair. Esto es importante porque en español decimos su brazo, su pelo, pero en inglés decimos el brazo de él, el pelo de ella. So, her, her hair, her nose, her mouth. La boca de ella, la nariz de ella, el pelo de ella. And also, here is the difference between the possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns in Spanish. This is my book. Este es mi libro. This book is mine. Este libro es mío. That's the difference. Here is a video that you can watch to more explanations. Now, let's exercise. In exercise number one, you have to complete the sentences with the correct possessive pronouns. So, if I go up, possessive pronouns, these ones. Let's see the example. It says, this isn't my guitar. Where's mine? I have to change that word in parenthesis. So, my guitar. I can use my chart. So, if I go up, this is mine. So, I go up and I have my, I have to choose to change it to mine. So, mine. Good. Now you have to work through exercise one to five. Good luck. Now, in exercise two, you have to choose the correct answers. Okay, you can use the chart to help you choose. Now, let's move on to vocabulary. In vocabulary, you're going to work in a dialogue about musical genders and instruments. So, here is an example of an interview. Hi, Antonia. Hi. What's your favorite type of music? My favorite type of music is pop. Good. And what's your favorite pop band? My favorite pop band is 21 Pilots. Perfect. And can you play any instruments? Yes, I can play the guitar and the ukulele. And you? No, I can play any instruments. Great. Now, to finish, you have to answer true or false. Okay, let's see how you do. Hope you have a nice day and if you have any questions, I will see you in class. Bye-bye.